I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want to support the show? Do all your Amazon shopping through we'refromtheinternet.com slash Amazon, and it doesn't cost you anything extra, but we get a little kickback on everything you buy. Hi Kev, hi Steve. Who's going to win the Ashes this summer? England. Cricket. The England cricket team, well done. Oh, cricket will be the ultimate winner. Shall we win the Ashes? We've not entered that before. Um, I've had Is it too late ashes to be barbecues and stuff? in the preliminary rounds of the Ashes? Um, I don't like cricket. I know. As a big cricket fan, you can probably explain to me. I'm more of a Jiminy cricket fan, I'm yeah. going to be honest. Why did I look at the Ashes on the BBC website, which is... One of the best ways to watch it, I find. Um, I didn't recognise half the players. Where have they all gone? Where's Geoffrey Boycott? Maybe you were looking at the other team. Ian Botham. No. Alistair Cook was still captain, but none of the other famous people, like Graham Gooch and all them, none of them were there. Where were they? I think if you put me in a room with everyone you've just said, I might go, I think that's Ian Botham over there, but I'm not sure. I was pointing at Geoffrey Boycott. And I wouldn't know anyone else was. No, no Jeffrey Boycott. No surely. idea. Not even a slight clue. We could commentate on cricket. I think that'd be good. You don't have to do anything except talk about DVDs, do you? They talk about pigeons that are flying over the other side of the thing. Because when you're watching, because thing is, cricket is so slow paced that a lot, especially Test matches. So if you've got a fast bowler who's bowling, they're much slower than the slow bowlers. <laughs> it's one of the wonderful things about cricket. The fast bowlers take longer than the slow bowlers. Um, because <laughs> they they have to go and walk up their massive long run up. They run about four hundred yards before they sling the ball. So whenever I've tried to do that with penalties or throwing, the run up ruins me because I build up momentum and then get it you're wrong. Not fit enough. But when a fast when a fast bowler's doing his thing, he'll have his little walk up to the his mark that he's left on the pitch. It will take him about a minute to get to. Then he'll turn round, leg it back down towards the pitch, hurl the ball down. And it'll just go straight past the batsman, obviously, because that's how test match cricket goes. The wicket keeper will catch it, and he'll sling it out to one of the slips, and the slip will have a little rub on his crotch, and then it'll come out to someone else a bit further around, and it'll pass through about four fielders while the bowler's having his slow walk back up. When he gets back to his mark, the captain will come over and have a word with him and say, uh, yeah, do that again, that was good. Or, <laughs> or sometimes, do it a little bit differently this time. And about So about two minutes later... It repeats itself, and he runs down, and no one hits the ball again. And there's not a lot of action to commentate on. So they talk about the cakes that have been sent in. They talk about the plane that's going overhead. They talk about can the ambulance just play this that they podcast can see in between the gaps. It's short enough. Well, they could. They could do a pod. You know, they could answer. Que- they do answer questions sometimes. And then, of course, when it's raining, if it if it's rained off all day, they've still got to be on air from half past ten until seven o'clock. So they just. They they basically wander around the ground picking out anyone remotely famous and bring them in for an interview. It's a brilliant way to get interviews. You get film stars and all sorts who come on just because they have a wonder. Ah, you're famous. Give it, get, you've got an hour on the radio ask now. If we can just come and sit in because we want to promote ourselves. Well, it's not been raining today. Um, I've got a question vaguely related to Ashes. If I died and wrote in my will that I left you a collection of Ashes, debris and whole bin bags... Um, that you are now the owner of. It was just rubbish, ashes and debris. Would you legally own it and therefore have to clean it up? Or would you just... Like, if you ignored it and left it be, would you be the responsible owner that it would have yeah, to Yeah, I think, I think you'd legally own it if it's left you in a will. Wow. So why don't people leave people really, really irritating problems to solve? Because <laughs> all I've been thinking since I had this question in my head was, I just need to start collecting de- debris. Sometimes the people do leave really irritating problems to solve, like thousands of pounds of credit card bills. Mm. <laughs> That's quite an irritating problem to solve. My nan left her best friend the, some china whippets. <laughs> I was like, what? What's what? a whippet? Actually, it was a dog of some kind, isn't it? I don't know. I'll have to Google whippets. A Chinese dog? No, I don't know. Just a dog made out of bone china, I think. Is it called bone china because there's bones in it? I think it's just bone coloured, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know what a whip it is now. I'm just looking it up while you we talk. You look up what a whip it is. Um, so who do you think is going to win the Ashes? Do you know who's in the Ashes? I thought it was always just England and Australia. It is always England and Australia. It's they, they Every year they get through to the final. Now, 
who do you think is going to win? Where is it this year? Let's see if you see how much you've been paying attention. Can't be in this country, can it? It is in this country. We're two days in. That's been very quiet. It started yesterday. Um, why would they go up against the Wimbledon? Well, it started yesterday when we're recording. Oh, I've let the cat out of the bag there that we've not done this. At two fit. This one is a. This is the cricket special. But why have they done it during Wimbledon? Because well, it'll be all summer now. That's a whip it. Oh, I know what Manan means dog. now. Those, those yeah, ornaments. They've, they've, so they've started it now, mm. and then every every match is five days long, and there'll be one every couple of weeks. So they'll finish early September, probably. So they've got no regard for um, Wimbledon and uh, the football season. No, why would they care about any of that? Because they're such a non-entity sport that isn't important. I bet they're probably clashing with rugby as well, which is just disrespectful. I imagine more people go to cricket than rugby. Uh, or tennis, they're both normally. They're boring, but, you know, tennis the is... Tennis, the tennis is done on Sunday. The cricket will still be going on Monday. Mm. It's the last day of the cricket on Monday. Is it? No, what day is it today? It's last day on Sunday. Same day as the Wimbledon men's final. See, that's just poor planning. Well, it could be you good might as well just put it up against the World Cup. They did. They have done in previous years. That's just foolish. Foolish on behalf of the World Cup. who didn't move to get out of the way of the yeah. Ashes. I've spent more hours of my adult life watching cricket than any yeah, other sport. Because the bloody sport's so much longer. Yeah, exactly. It's fascinating. Yeah. It's like a game of chess. It's not like a game of chess. You it just is like a game of chess. described a really, really arduous, slow but it's game. Full of, it's full of delightful irregularities, like the fact that the fast bowlers are slower than the slow bowlers, and when you're in, you're out, and when you're out, you're in. And all this wonderful stuff. Cricket is a wonderful thing. Why don't Americans play it? Because they don't understand it. It's too complicated. Hmm. They, all they can manage is rounders and even that they get a bit confused with and got the rules wrong see I've, I, what annoys me about it I think I've told you this before and probably even said it on a podcast is I used to play cricket at school and the ball would come towards me and I'd just lever it for miles and then just run up and down and they'd basically spend so long getting the ball back that I'd just keep running well, up that's, and down, up and down. That's, oh, the opposition, get six. that's the opposition captain's fault if you if you go out there swinging for sixes all the time, that's a mark. That's a sign of a poor batsman. Because you're just going to get out. Because if the captain has set the field properly and the bowler is bowling properly to the captain's instructions and the set out of the fit and the layout of the field, then if you're there right swinging your bat round, you're just going to get out. Well, I never did. That's because yeah. there was no decent bowler. And if, if if it's taken ages for the ball to come back, the fielders weren't set up right. The first time you sling it out towards the boundary, just stick a man where it landed. So the next time it lands there, you can catch it and you're well, out. I was quite good at hitting it in different directions. Well, stick a man everywhere you could possibly hit it. <laughs> but um, then the teacher comes over. Oh, no, you're hitting it all wrong. I'm like, well, we're actually winning by quite a substantial amount of uh, Not only because the goals. bowler was poor. If you'd have come against a proper bowler, you wouldn't have been able to carry on like so that. So he made me hit it like they do on the telly, where you just basically yeah. hold the stick and let the ball hit the stick, the, the, the cricket bat. And, yeah. uh, it just goes nowhere. It just lands in well, front of again, you. Again, that's because the bowler was rubbish. If it had been a proper fast bowler, then all you need to do is give it the faintest of touches and you can watch it fly off to the boundary. Hmm... And it will be in a controlled way where you've put it along the ground. It's a game of chess, I tell you. <laughs> See, all I found was it would just bounce off the bat and roll into the wicket. And how many times <laughs> do I have to tell you it's not a bat, it's a racket? Okay. The, uh, the, the, the cricket, cricket stick. racket. The cricket stick. The cricket racket. Um, but yeah, and, they, and, the guy, and I couldn't then go back to my old way. When I realised his way was foolish... Or correct. Um, no, but we're foolish in the circumstances of the games we played for like seven weeks straight in PE. You were a 2020 player before your time. Because mm. basically he, we only played it then, it's the only time I ever would have played it. And in that circumstance, for us to win the game, I needed to just lever it as hard as I could, as far as I could, and just run up and down. And But he interrupted that, and so my career as a cricket master was... Uh, You've got a cricket okay. master. Yeah. Want to get every episode of We're From The Internet at least a day earlier than the iTunes and Stitcher folk? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash pledge to support us on Patreon, and as well as early access, we'll throw in an exclusive weekly show just for our patrons too. 